and gentlemen, this full tie rules bout will be contested in the minus 50 kilogram division over three three minute rounds. Introducing to you, firstly, in this international contest, fighting out of the black corner at yesterday's weigh in, she scaled 50.1 kilograms. She's representing Rendoko Dojo in. Beautiful Mazzara, Italy. It's Martina Bonaio. And across the ring, fighting out of the white corner. At yesterday's weigh-in, she scaled 50.5 kilograms. She's representing Bad Company Jim and Team Two. From Southeast London, it's the Lioness, Grace Spicer! And if we're knocked down, you must go neutral corner. I will not begin the count until you do so. Touch gloves, touch your corners, please. Okay, ready, ready, fight! Muay Thai wow. Grand Prix here at Indigo, London's world famous O2. Grace Spicer against Martina Burnell. Three three minute rounds and a very intriguing contest here. Yeah, you can see the very different styles straight away. The Italian very light, moving in and out. Spicer has a very uh, traditional Thai style, which will walk you down, powerful kicks. Taller woman here. And the Italian just crazy busy for work rate. Walking Grace Spicer down there. Almost as though she didn't necessarily want to land the shot, she just wanted to impose herself in that clinch. Yeah, now we're into full tie rules, so knees and elbows are allowed to the head. You saw the Italian just trying to elbow down. Heavy hands coming from the Italian there. Spicer with quite a considerable height advantage here, but Bernil dealing with that power and walking her down. Confident start from Bernil, the Italian. You often see this sort of style uh, with a lot of the Europeans, it's very high work rate. Almost more like a K1 sort of style of fighting. Busy, 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 whereas the Thai style is much more relaxed and then explosive power. Like Spicer there, just relaxed, poised, waiting, times that body, uh, times the teeth very well, doesn't waste energy. Two minutes gone, and more of the eye-catching work has come from Martina Benil. Three threes, remember, so plenty of time here. As Spicer looks to go to work, but Benil backs her up again as they come into the clinch. Yeah, she's not really not landing anything of power though, and nothing distinct yet. Spicer, nice body kick, two body kicks. And this is where sometimes people watching might think the busier person's winning the fight, but it's often not the case. You've got to read the damage, you've got to read the effect of the, the work rate there. Spicer throwing a hook and the Italian pings off to the side. Spicer needs to kick more. Again, drawn into a sort of boxing match here, where it's punch for punch and... Right on the bell there. Martina Benil finishing the first round as she started. Looking to let those hands go. Well, let's
let's take a look at some of the action from that first round. As you rightly pointed out, Martina Benil, certainly the busier of the two. Yeah, look at the movement here. It's very apparent. Lots of work there from the Italian landing hands and body kick. That was good effect she had there. Same there. Corners, 10 seconds. Oh, look to fluster Spicer a little bit with the work rate. In terms of the performances then, how do you feel Grace Spicer and her corner would have felt after round number one? Round two. I think they'll be looking to try not to get smothered by the, uh, the work rate of the Italian. Stand off and kick and score intelligently. Again, she's getting drawn into that sort of boxing match. No major knees in the clinch. I'd like to see her step back and again power the knee up the middle to show the judges the score. Spicer just trying to kick through the middle there and almost brought a smile from Benil as if to say, right, I can deal with this. When they do trade, whether, yeah. it, whether it be with the legs or the hands, it seems to be Benil who's able to come forward. Yeah, you hear uh, Andy Housen in the corner there, four times world champion in Muay Thai himself from the famous Bad Company gym. He's been training Grace and uh, you heard him shouting straight punches there. He, she does need to pop the jab down the middle and stop the Italian coming at her. Put her, put her in her place with the straight punches and then land the kicks afterwards. But her punches are a little bit round the side and so the Italian's just walking her down. Nice turn then trip there from Spicer. That's better work in the clinch. Better kicks now from Spicer. The elbow coming in short range there as well from Spicer. Difficult to get that quality work away when you're being smothered against the ropes. It certainly is. A little cut opened up on the face of the Italian. Don't know if that was a, an elbow on the nose or if it's the punches. I didn't see it. Well, there was quite a heavy elbow that came in. Good, good shot there, taking the Italian down. Spicer really starting to grow into this second round now. That was better work there. You saw. Spicer being told, elbow her on the way in, and it's true, when the Italian's running forward like that, pop the elbow straight up the middle. Uppercut elbow as she comes in, and she's going to walk straight onto it. Could well be what the damage on the nose is, I didn't see it, I think it was wrong angle for me. Well, she wasn't punished for walking forward in the first round, she has been in this second. 20 seconds or so as the kick comes through the middle from Spicer. Yeah, this is better work from Spicer now, pushing her back. Attempting that lead elbow as well as Benil comes in. Superman punch herself before having those legs swept. Nice work there. Spicer now finding her range a bit more. Finding her point. And look, gaining in confidence. Let's see some replays from that round. Well, the arms went up there. I think Grace Spicer takes her stool at the end of the second a lot happier than she would have at the end of the first. Agreed. Much better round there from Spicer. First round, she got a bit flustered. The Italian sort of smothered her a bit more. As we uh, go into the replays now. Well, let's see if we can catch the moment where that cut was opened up on the bridge of the nose of Martina Benil. I think it was as she came forward and backed Spicer up onto the rope, she managed to land that elbow. Good kick there from Spicer. And you can see she's keeping the Italian at, at bay now. No walking forward, that was not happening in round Corners, one. 10 seconds. Okay, six away, third and final round. Much better work away, there. Third and final round, let's go, six out. Touch gloves, final round, touch gloves. 
Here we go. Third and final round. Round three. Final round. This one's still up for grabs as Benil comes forward. Spicer rocks her with a right hand early on. You can hear the grunt from both women here. They're really putting everything into these shots as Spicer throws that elbow and lovely little trip on the inside there. I think they both know that this is the deciding round on the proviso that Benil took the first and Spicer took the second. They've got about two and a half minutes to impress the judges and get their arm raised. Has Benil got the engine to continue the intensity though? If her tempo slows down, you get the impression that Spicer will be able to take full advantage. Yeah, also, I mean, no smashed in like that. Bleeding, if it's bleeding on the inside, it's harder to breathe, it slows you down a little bit more, fatigue sets in. She's still coming with the work rate. She's not going forward with the same confidence that she was in the first six minutes. And he's there from uh, Spicer. Benil just starting to slow down and Spicer's corner desperate for her to keep turning the screw. Yeah, it looks like she's hurting her now, slowing her down. Spicer needs to work on the body of the Italian. She was having good effect there with the knee and the kick. It's definitely slowing the Italian down. Spicer the aggressor now too. Forcing Benil back. And Hauser screaming in the corner, you've hurt her. Work the body, that was a great right kick and that hurt. That hurt, look at her left arm come down. The Italian was hurt by that, uh, that kick. Spicer can hurt her. Uh, again, the arm coming down in the clinch, always a bad sign that the Italian is hurt to the body. Spicer needs to step in and knee the body. 30 seconds remaining. And Spicer seems more in control now than she has been, gets through and lands on that bloody nose first with the knee left to hand. the body. And then the right foot, final throws of this one. Martina Benil. Yeah, last 10 seconds of this round and the Italian is hurt to the body. Good elbow from Spicer. Yes, right, let go. Right, done, 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 done. Well, we go to the judges' scorecards, but Grace Spicer really grew into that bout. She hurt Martina Bernal with that cut in the second round and from that moment looked to be only one winner. Grace Spicer certainly thinks it's her. She celebrates with the corner. It's a different picture over on Martina Bernal's side of the ring. She hugs Housen before her boyfriend. Oh, she's going to be in trouble when she gets home tonight. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the replays of the final round. And as the fight wore on, Grace Spicer seemed to grow in confidence. Beat Martina Bernal to the punch, which in the first and second rounds, she wasn't able to do. Yeah, strong finish there as we go to our MC for this evening for the official results. And ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for both these ladies after three excellent rounds of action. And at the end of those three completed rounds, your ringside judges have reached a unanimous decision. All in favor of your winner, fighting out of the white corner, it's the Lioness, Grace Spicer! Well, Grace Spicer gets the decision. And to show your appreciation After a confident a start there Martina from Martina Benil. She passed the test, and that's a good victory for her.
Yeah, it's great work from Spicer. She rode the storm really well, and the Italian really brought the fight to her. But she rode the storm, she, she picked her shots well, she scored with some real power, and uh, took a convincing win there at the end. Great result for Grace.